Yo guys, welcome back to Semprint TV. Here to discuss the disappointing but impressive 2 1 loss to Barcelona. And of course, I'm here with my guy, Kami Anderson, who uh, took over from me in my absence last week alongside Bilal Mirza, and they both did a great job. So, how's it going, Kami? Great as always to be on. Unfortunately, it's not in better circumstances. Great stuff, Kami. Um, let's get straight into it. I've alluded to it. I was quite impressed with that performance from Inter. What did you make of this, uh, of this match? And uh, what do you make of our chances qualifying from this group? You know, it's not looking very good at the moment with the draw against Slavia Praha and now Dortmund beating Slavia Praha and us uh, losing with only one point. It looks uh, quite difficult that we'll progress. Um, so what do you think? I don't think anyone could have asked for a much better start from the team. Obviously, we went 1-0 up within just minutes of the game kicking off and I felt that it was absolutely imperative that we did get that first goal if we had any chance of getting something from the game. Unfortunately, tonight it wasn't enough and we've had to settle for a defeat and it looks really difficult for us to qualify uh, to the knockout stages of the Champions League, but we've got to have belief there's still some games to go and anything can happen. As expected, we didn't have much of the ball whatsoever, but when out of possession, I think we've done really well. Defensively, we were set up exactly how you kind of need to be when facing a team such as Barcelona and we've done superb to hit them on the counter on several times and something I really liked about the team was the fact that despite being under immense pressure at times we continued to try and build play from the back there was none of this aimless punting when things were getting difficult we, as Conti said, went and tried to play our own game so certainly we can be really happy with that in the first half I thought our passing at stages was excellent and I guess you could go so far as to say we even out Barca to Barca for, for, for parts of the game we had several good chances after the opener and unfortunately in the end these did cost us as we never took them but on another day we could have taken these and we, we could have been celebrating a victory, it could have been a completely different game had, had we scored these chances. In the second half we just didn't really manage to get going again while whilst Barcelona kind of flicked a switch and they just became a completely different team. They, they seemed a lot more lethal on attack. Lionel Messi got much more involved and he was a real threat and kind of caused Quadro Asimo quite a lot of problems out on that right-hand side. It was always going to take something special uh, to get past us and Luis Suarez done exactly that with his first goal. It was a world-class finish and I don't think there can be many complaints about that. When it comes to second goal, again, that was, it was some phenomenal play before Messi and then Suarez's touch kind of setting himself up was again excellent. I am disappointed, but at the same time, I'm very proud of how the team performed. I think it shows that we've come certainly a long way compared to last time when we faced Barcelona. And yeah, we've got to see what it takes us. We shouldn't be too disheartened. Uh, we've, as I said, we out them them for, for times. And yeah, we've now got to look ahead to the event as given, kind of look at that with a lot of confidence. With regards to Conte's substitutions, I can certainly understand why he made them, but unfortunately tonight they never they never panned out. Roberto Gagliardini was the first player to come on the pitch and he was brought on kind of to negate the impact that Arturo Vidal had made since coming on for Barcelona but he just couldn't get near him which was obviously no use. The second substitution made was kind of an enforced one given Antonio Candreva had kind of sustained a knock during the game and Danilo D'Ambrosio came on but unfortunately couldn't really do much. The final substitution saw Stefano Sensi go off and Matteo Politano come on. This substitution came just minutes kind of before Barcelona's second goal and I think it was a sign that Conte was wanting to go for it and kind of maybe catch Barcelona who were in kind of control at this stage off guard but Politano just didn't kind of have that desired impact and failed to kind of have the impact that he has had off the bench in recent weeks. Yeah, I completely agree with uh, pretty much what you've said. Uh, um, it looks like it's going to be... Uh difficult to qualify from this group um, as you've said you know Dortmund are in a much better position than us but of course we still have two matches to play against Dortmund and another one uh, to play against uh, Barca and Slavia Praha and they pretty much all are must-win matches now for us in terms of the match uh, the standout players for me today was Nicolo Barella absolutely monstrous performance for me he was involved in 20 duels in the match, I mean, that's absolutely crazy, absolute machine-like performance from him. Lautaro, of course, was another standout performer for me and uh, that goal that he scored, I think, 
that is the epitome of Lautaro Martinez. If you had to describe a goal or have to find a goal to describe Lautaro Martinez, it would be that goal. Strength, determination and falling over. This guy is always falling over and still manages to score there. Um, I don't know what it is with this guy. He's gravitationally challenged. Or he's always fighting gravity to stay up on his feet. But a lot of times he doesn't make it work somehow. But it would be nice to see him having a bit more composure at times and managing to stay on his feet and getting a better shot on goal because a lot of time he snatches his shots and he should be finishing better. And again, this match he had some chances where he could have done better. But Tesh Stegen was on top form as well today. What a save from that header. The other midfielders, Sensi and Brozovic, were also very good, especially in that first half where Inter pretty much uh, took control of the match. Um, but then, um, just like everyone else in the team, they dropped off and uh, Barcelona regained control. I think the game-changing moment was the Vidal substitution in the second half. Uh, Vidal coming in. Um, on that right hand side really pressing into really well and uh, he changed the match for them and of course Lionel Messi being Lionel Messi the greatest player of all time changing the match on his head providing a great assist for Luis Suarez and Luis Suarez as much as I hate him as much as pretty much most of the footballing world hates him he is the best striker of this generation as he showed with these two goals but so many positive to take to that match the mentality and the manner of play that Inter showed in this match, compare it to this exact same match this time last season under Spalletti and it's a night and day difference. Inter went to the Camp Nou and showed so much personality and controlled the match in the first half and you don't see many teams doing that in that stadium. Even Liverpool last season, uh, the Champions League wins weren't able to do that at the Camp Nou. So. You have to give props where props are due this Inter performance and it gives me a lot of confidence going into the next match against Juventus. I also must say I wasn't too impressed with the Conte substitutions. I think Gagliardini coming on for Sanchez, as uh, Cami said, wasn't the greatest decision because we it moved the team to a 5-4-1 or a 5-3-1-1 and uh, brought us deeper in when Barca were attacking us. But then of course, you know, the difference is there in the substitutions. Barca can bring on you know, the likes of Vidal and Dembélé, whereas uh, Conte is only really allowed to bring on, you know, Gagliardini and Politano. Big, big difference. And yes, we also have to mention, as Cami said as well, the refereeing performance was all absolutely atrocious today. Some of those calls made, especially against Inter, I mean, I'm not being biased, I think, objectively speaking, those were some very dodgy calls in there, and especially that penalty call. It should have been at least reviewed by VAR. Um, of course, there must have been a silent check, but I don't know how the referee didn't have a second look at that because uh, um, Sensi definitely took the ball ahead of Arthur and uh, that was a clumsy challenge. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. As I said, looking forward to the UV match. I think uh, we might clap their cheeks. The mentality that this team shows under Conte is absolutely amazing. Yeah, looking forward to the next one. Of course, we will be previewing it before the match. Thank you, Cammy, for coming on, as always. Pleasure, as always, to be on. Now this game's over, it's in the past. We've now got to start thinking about Juventus. So, fingers crossed we get a good result this weekend. Forza Inter. And, as always, Forza Inter, boys. Ciao.